Hello, hello everyone, uh, welcome to Yorks Gamer, and I'm just going to do a quick unboxing video for you from uh, these Perry Miniatures Franco Prussian War French Infantry uh, 28 mil figures, uh, plastic, and um, been waiting for these for quite a while, as uh, regular viewers will know, as these will finish off the four units of French infantry that I need for my Mentana project. So I picked these up at Salute on Saturday. Uh, first thing I did is I went through the door, was run to the Perry stand and, and grabbed three boxes of these. And uh, there's just two in the video, because um, I'm showing you the two different types of boxes that are available. Uh, you can buy the one on the left, uh, which is French Infantry Firing, 38 figures, or the one on the right, French Infantry Advancing, again, 38 figures. And it's the combination of sprues in the boxes that's the difference between the two. Uh, so we'll have a look at the contents, we'll have a look at the sprues, and uh, we'll uh, show you what you need to know if you're looking to pick these up. So we'll concentrate on the firing box set first and have a quick look at the artwork. Lovely picture on the front of, as you would expect, French infantry in a firing pose and a little life-size picture in the bottom right as we're looking at there uh, of one of the figures made up. Uh, on the side of the box we've got a continuation of that picture and another made up infantry figure as we have on the end. Uh, then there's some uh, advertising for the plastic German boxes and the other end is the same. And then on the rear uh, we have um, a little uh, picture or painting guide for some of the figures that are available and then an exploded kind of guide of how to put the figures together. Now, um, just bring across the advancing box while we're, we're talking about this is very very similar but we've just got slightly different pictures on the outside and again the bloke version is a, of an advancing figure rather than a firing figure so virtually identical but uh, very very similar so I think uh, for an unboxing what we should do is do a bit of unboxing so uh, they're always tightly packed in uh, Bit of a Yorkshire game of saying there, these uh, boxes are tightly packed, so I shall slide out everything that comes in the box and uh, just put that up at the back as a background so that we know what we are talking about. So, there we go. Uh, so, in here we have, and I'll go through these in a little bit more detail in a minute, uh, we have one command sprue. Uh, and then we have these. Are, this is a marching sprue. Again, I'll do more detail on those in a minute. We've so got one of those, uh, two of those, and then we move on to the firing sprue, which is this one. Again, more detail in a second. And we get one, two, three, four, five of the firing sprues in the. French infantry firing box. So it's five, five firing, two marching, one command. And then, as usual, you get a uh, Red Deer basis. I don't use these myself, but uh, I'm sure they're quite useful for other people. I, I give these away to a friend who uses them. So I'll put those to one side. Um, if you are interested, uh, they're the sizes of the bases. There's, some, there's a single. Um, some doubles and uh, these are probably four figure bases I would suggest. Uh, so uh, they come in the box set and then we you get the uh, usual pamphlet. So um, I shall go into each of those in a little bit more detail. So first up we'll have a look at the booklet and if you've bought any Perry's plastic miniatures you'll be very familiar with the format of here. So we have a basic introduction into French line infantry of uh, the period uh, with some notes on the organisation and the uniforms with some lovely colour illustrations there of a regular line infantryman and an officer. Then it opens up and uh, to the left we have a line infantry uh, drummer and uh, my mate Steve from PCP will be glad to see that uh, that's not a particularly difficult one compared to the other ones that we've got. Uh, 
and then we talk about, uh, or the, the pamphlet talks about different uh, unit types that can use this box set. So we have the reservist, uh, which we have a picture of here, and then naval infantrymen, which uh, looking at that looks very similar to the Chasseur de Pied. Uh, then we look, took a little bit about tactics, flags, there's a couple of flags there, they're probably good enough to cut out and use, and then something for the Fannians for each uh, battalion. And then on the rear, there is a guide to the sprues and uh, some illustrations of figures that have been put together. So that's uh, a really helpful and uh, useful guide to French infantry of the period and uh, the box set. So first thing I'm going to look at is the command sprue and as you can see here we've got one, two, three figures or three bodies and then a number of selections of arms and heads that uh, you can use uh, for various things. Uh, here in this little section we've got uh, a drum, drummer's arms and a backpack. Uh, I take it to go with this figure here which has the uh, shoulder strap of uh, a drummer. And then in this one here, we've got a shoulder strap for a standard bearer, and we have a standard with an eagle top. And uh, then in this area here, we have an officer's body, a couple of, uh, well, four heads there with, of different styles. Most uh, three cappies and one that looks like it's got a stocking cap on. And uh, then we've got a variation of... Um, arms for the officers and the standard bearer. We've got a pointing arm, a waving arm, a sword, a shoulder over, uh, sorry, a rifle over the shoulder, a bugle, uh, a shoulder, uh, a sword on a shoulder, and it uh, looks like a, holding a sword in a scabbard, and then we've got a arm with a battalion fanion on top of a musket, and a further arm, uh, there with a sword tucked under the arm. So there's plenty of options for you to choose from, mostly on the officer side of things, uh, and also for the additional arm for the standard bearer. Nice choice there. I would have preferred if we'd had another uh, options for standard bearer, um, but uh, that's as they come. We've got three uh, people or three figures we can build on there and a couple of other arms etc will be useful for options on the other figures that we're going to look at now so uh, stand by and we will bring up the uh, firing sprue so here we have the firing sprue and uh, we have a figure here a casualty figure and then we've got one two kneeling figures and one, two, three standing figures. Uh, on the rest of the sprue, as you can see here, we've got uh, legs for the kneeling figures. Uh, there's just two, there's no options there. Uh, backpacks for all the figures, uh, um, although with the kneeling ones, I would suggest. And then we've got backpacks um, with uh, tails uh, for the infantry. Uh, selection of heads, we've got six by the looks of things for five figures so you've got one spare that you can do a little bit of uh, mix and match with and we've got various pots and pans a little bit of a blanket roll spare rifle um, and then we've got the rifle arms here and corresponding arms for each rifle uh, i've not taken these off the sprue and tried to put them together yet so i don't know whether these cross matching with these whether they work uh, just on the one uh, pose or whether you can put say that arm with that one but that's the joy of these plastic models isn't it seeing whether we can uh, get unique poses for the figures that we are going to build so there's one two three four five six seven eight different types of uh, poses with the rifles uh, for those five figures that you are going to build up. So that's a fairly decent uh, selection, fairly decent amount of different stuff that you can put together from that one sprue. So uh, we'll move on to the advancing sprue, which is the last one in uh, the box. And here we have it. And uh, very similar to the firing sprue in that we've got five uh, bodies that we can put together uh, with five uh, backpack and uh, tails to the coats. Uh, see how, I'll see how those fit together 
whether we've got any lines between them or not. Interesting to see how that looks as a as one piece of a coat. I'm sure the Perry lads will have done it uh, top notch as they always do. Um, and then we've got some heads there, a little spare kepe looking at that, and then we have options of five marching figures or five advancing figures. So nice little mix there. If you, I particularly like um, an advancing unit with muskets levelled on the front rank of two and uh, muskets uh, on the shoulder uh, in the rear rank so this is absolutely perfect for me so that's a quick run through the sprues i hope uh, that's given you some idea of the options that are available on them as you expect with the perries these are utmost high quality really really good for my painting style especially and uh, i'm going to be building up i've got three boxes of these 38 figures each uh, and I bought two advancing and one firing box. We'll come to the back to the advancing box in a minute just to show you the sprue layout in there. But I'm going to build four 24-man uh, figure units. And then whatever I've got left will go on command bases and be painted up as skirmishers. So that is the um, finished uh box for the firing and just to remind you that we had one command sprue two marching sprues and five firing sprues so i'll come back in a second with the advancing box so this is the advancing box and uh, the sprues are exactly the same as I said earlier on. I'm just going to open this one up in front of you so you can see the exact contents and uh, see what uh, the combination of sprues that we've got in here. So we have uh, one command sprue as we had with the other box set. So we've put that to one side and then we're on to the firing sprues and there is one two firing sprues and then we have i'm going to guess five yeah we've got five marching sprues so in, as well as that we've got the pamphlet that we had before which is exactly the same and those bases so the difference between the two is five marching sprues in the advancing one two firing and that's just simply swapped over in the firing box set with five firing and two marching and just uh, the one command set for everything else. So I'll do another follow up video on these uh, in the next week or so when I've put all these together, organise them into the battalions that I'm going to uh, do and uh, before they... Uh, go down to the cellar to get sprayed up and primed and... Uh, I might even do a painting tutorial video on. Let's see how it goes. So I hope that was useful. I hope that was informative. I bought this in a box of three and a free command figure uh, direct from the Perrys themselves. And uh, you can order directly from them, uh, from Dave Thomas at any of the shows or um, many other people sell uh, the Perry stuff. But there we go. Franco-Prussian War Infantry, released its salute. There's your view of what's in the box. Until next time, see you.